Welcome to the lecture on diode transistor logic. This is the circuit diagram here given. So in this diagram you can see we have four diodes. This is diode D1, this is D2 and this is diode uh, D3 and this is diode D4 and we have three resistors. Resistor R1 which is connected to the power supply and this is R2 that is also connected to the power supply. This is R3 which is connected to the base of this transistor, right, transistor T, uh, this is the base of the transistor, this is the collector of the transistor and this is the emitter, right. So since we have diodes and transistors in the circuit we call it diode transistor logic, right. So you can see the figure of a diode, right, so this is how diode looks like, right. So uh, this part of the diode is nothing but the cathode and this is the anode. Right. If the diode wants to conduct in the forward direction, the anode should be high and the cathode should be low, kept at low voltage. Right. So if you keep it, uh, if the key, if you keep the cathode at low voltage, the diode will conduct in the reverse direction. The low voltage will be propagated. So you can see we have uh, two input leads for the diode transistor logic circuit. Right. So let's name them A. And I'll draw a table here and it can be B, right? And the output can be taken from V0, right? Where is V0? Here is V0, right? So that just above the collector of the transistor. So since we have two variables, right? We can have inputs uh, 0, 0. So this can be the input A and this, is can, this can be input B. Let's put 0 for A and 0 for B, right? So the cathode of the two diodes D1 and D2 are kept at low voltage here in the condition first condition the low voltage will be propagating to diode D3 like this right so you can see the diodes D3 and D4 right so the low voltage is propagated from diode D1 and D2 right to diode D3 and D4 now the diode D3 will not conduct because the anode of the diode D3 is at low voltage. If the anode is kept at low voltage, there will not be any power flow, right? So the diode will be cut will be cutting off, right? D3 will be cutting off and D4 will be cutting off and the transistor will be cutting off. The power will be sensed only at V0, right? So D3, D4 and transistor T are not going to conduct and the power will be sensed only at V0. Next condition is 0, 1. Let's see what happens if 0, 1 is applied to the input leads A and B. Right. Now we will see, I will just erase uh, the previous points, 0, 1. Right. Now you can see for diode D2, the uh, cathode is kept high. So if the cathode is kept high, diode is not going to conduct. It will be cut off from the circuit itself. Now here you can see the cathode is kept at low voltage. The diode will start conducting and the low voltage will be propagating to again diode D3. Right? It will be reaching the anode of the diode D3. Right? Since the anode of diode D3 is kept at low voltage. Right? So what happens? Uh, you can see the truth table. What happens in the first part of uh, the input 0, 0? The same thing is going to happen now. Anode is kept at low voltage. The plus 5 from the VC will be sent to V0. Since diode D3 is not conducting, D4 will not conduct and T is not going to conduct and V0 is going to get 1. Next input will be 1, 0, right. So 1, 0 is the next combination we have. I will just change it, uh, erase all the points we discussed. Now what happens if you are giving 1, 0, uh, I am uh, sorry this uh, is here also, it is 1, 0. Now you can see 1 0 is given to this diode D1, the cathode of diode D1 is connected to the high voltage, it is not going to conduct, it will be cut off from the circuit itself, diode D2 will be conducting, low voltage from diode D2 will be propagating to D3, right. Now the anode of D3 will be getting the low voltage, if anode is getting the low voltage, diode D3 is not going to conduct and henceforth diode D4 is not going to conduct and the transistor T is not going to conduct because the base of the transistor is low, right. Now the transistor, if it is not conducting, it is going to the cutoff region. It is not conducting, 
right naturally the power will be flowing to v naught so v naught will be showing high voltage right the last one is 1 1 right if you keep 1 1 i'll just erase this uh, the extra points uh, so that you will not be confused and then there is this also um, just a minute okay so i think it's done now one one is applied so one one i will is applied to the cathodes of both the diodes if both the diodes are kept at high at the cathode side that means what happens they are cut off from the circuit itself right so both the diodes are not connecting anymore so what happens the voltage at the top you can see so these two are disconnected i'm just showing you yeah so the voltage at the top will be driving right the current to flow through the diodes right now the voltage uh, you know power will be traveling in this way now the anode is kept at high anode of d3 will be getting high, high voltage right this is the anode cathode of d3 right the anode will be transferring power and now the d4 will be conducting right the high voltage will be given to the base of the transistor t now the t will be in the conduction state right previously it was in the cutoff region now most of the voltage power will be traveling to the transistor right so only low voltage is available at v naught so v naught is getting low voltage right so this uh, resembles the truth table of a nand gate right so this is the truth table of a nand gate and this is how you create uh, a nand gate uh, from diode transistor logic right so this is how you create in the next video we will design uh, a circuit with resistor transistor logic right if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section and thanks for watching